I, I, that's I, in the news. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the <laughs> other know. things playing out at the same time, you're watching the sentencing of James Holmes. You're watching Boston bombing play out. These hey, are the, like, today he's getting formally sentenced. He's exactly. already been given the death penalty for throwing himself on the mercy of the court. A lot exactly. Of good but today is another day to make it a huge headline and keep these kind of themes and memes all together and all constantly in the news. Meanwhile, you know, Puff Daddy gets in a fight and he makes terroristic threats to the UCLA football coach. And then today, uh, this, these are both these are both rap guys. Rick Ross, which is a phony fake name, and he's a phony Not fake. Not the real dude. Ricky Ross. Exactly. Yeah. That's a whole other area to study. Or you could just watch the Chris Rock movie CB4. Um, <laughs> but Rick Ross got arrested today for some attempted, you know, kidnapping. And so they keep all these like terrorist, helter skelter, race war stories all just sort of constantly competing. And they'll kind of die down for a little bit, but then they kind of build back up. And they are working <laughs> I know. big time So real this quick, i got to go to break. Uh, James Evan Pilato with us, MediaMonarchy.com. Uh, the whole Rachel Dolan's thing, it was completely so convoluted that it had to have been like a contrived story on just about every level. I don't know. I assume that if you help uh, colored people, which is what they still call that organization, by the way. Uh -huh. Did you see? No, forget about that. Okay, comment on that. But we have to comment <laughs> on the president going with this motorcade to a garage somewhere in California and doing an interview with a comedian. We, ha I mean, you have to address that. That's see, and that's the thing. That's what's good about having these discussions is to help kind of bullet point all these things and go, oh my god, you know. I feel like the Rachel Dolezal thing is, is probably like a million other stories that are sort of just there floating around, and at any moment they can go, hey, let's pluck that one. Let's let's roll with that, because let's maybe maybe the next one will be, you know, some... <laughs> I just, I'm just i making this up. A straight guy was posing what? as the head of a, you know, LBGT group, and then we can all argue and hate each other and tear each other apart for that. I mean, Obama going on Mark Maron is kind of fascinating and and it's so weird it's it's the really media weird. all they wanted to say was oh he used the n-word which i what they meant by that was nigerian you're not allowed to say that but you know but that was the weirdest thing ever that he goes to this guy's and this guy he does a podcast he's right coming, not even in his own house at his friend's garage he's coming to and town soon. he comes in and it just tears up the whole neighborhood man there's secret service agents mm -hmm. you know looking like they came right out of the movie the matrix agent smith's all over the place and there's obama just like a regular guy in a garage somewhere doing a podcast called wtf <laughs> mark the maron's podcast was called WTF, right? Uh-huh. That's and it's one of it's one of the most popular podcasts. Mark Maron's actually he's on a stand up tour. He's coming to town here in just a couple of yeah. weeks. Well, he was he was uh, slurping a little bit, but I guess that's what you have to do, right? Because they'll just shoot you right then and there, confiscate all the tapes. And I gotta wonder if you know who who asked who about doing the interview. I wonder sometimes if maybe Mark Maron got a phone call that said, "Hey, guess what? You're gonna interview Obama." That's, no, there's no way. What did you think he did? He Send in a press request. <laughs> Please, yeah, give me your availability. <laughs> oh, my God. That's got to be one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It's just weird. It, but this is what the guy does. He has time to go, you know, do a podcast in somebody's garage. And comments. To go get hamburgers for everybody at the hamburger joint and bring them back to the White House. And it's, it's it's totally perfect for this president. And he really, I mean, and to comment on every sort of news event of the day, that's something that's also happened, I think, with the last couple of presidents. You know, as soon as the president comes out and says something, how on earth is anyone ever going to get any sort of fair trial or any sort of fair proceedings? The leader of the free world comes out and says, you know, dastardly killers did horrible things and, you know, more at 11. Well, just because you don't use the N-word in public doesn't mean you're not a racist. That's right. Because <laughs> he's this is transparency. He's out 
James, he's out. The do don't say he's not answering questions from the mainstream media, which had some weird bomb threat allegedly here a week or two ago. We tried to cover that, but it's oh, just yeah. like they were literally covering the cameras and, and the people at CNN or whatever, they're pissed. They're like, this has never happened before in, in presidential politics, history, in modern media days. They, they never taken, they took a t shirt and covered up the cameras. Mm -hmm and kicked everybody out, but Obama's still in the White House. They didn't evacuate any of them. They just kicked out the journalists. I, we'll come back and talk about James Evan Pilato with us from MediaMonarchy.com to come out and, and tell us today on purpose that we are now basically enemy combatants, those of us who are not embedded media, I think is, uh, well, it's a tribute to, to Michael Hastings, Gary Webb, and as I mentioned, uh, Danny Casolaro. Uh, all right, so I'll play any song you want right now. What do you want to hear? Oh, it has a bunch of swears in it, but I would like the new Slayer song, Repentless. Perfect, that man. We worked this out ahead of time. Here it is, the grassy knoll driving nowhere. <laughs> James Evan Pilato. Jack, let's show you right back. 